Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and if the Cobra's over in the third car bay, you know we have a project going on. So what is it? Well, we have my brother's competition orange Cobra over here up in the air. And as you may know, we just put a brand new clutch in here. And we had to pull the transmission again. The car doesn't have even 300 miles on it since we put that uh, new clutch in. And you may have seen my other video about Cobra owners beware, where we had fitment issues with that clutch. And, uh, well, here's the damage. This is the, the brand new clutch disc with less than 300 miles on it. Now, keep in mind that uh, this is a pretty much bone stock Cobra, stock tune. It only has a cat back on it in a, in a short throw. Stock mid pipe, stock pulley, stock everything. So um, this should not happen under factory power. And he definitely does not power shift that car. That car, um, he babies it. I mean, in this case, he said, uh, you know, he was taking it up into some higher RPMs and uh, just granny shifting and it completely just uh, he got locked out and coming to find out that it just disintegrated here and you can see some of these rivets that are just busted clean off you know something uh, definitely failed here and it's it uh, I don't know it doesn't look good to me and so this kit was supposed to be a factory replacement and being that we that he had bought it off eBay, we really don't know what it truly was. So not to say you can't buy things off eBay, there's plenty of good parts to buy, but you have to be careful uh, because sometimes people are just marketing their own stuff as whatever they want, hoping that you'll never figure it out. Here's his other stock clutch. And you can see the differences here. <laughs> One one to the other, that this is probably not the factory replacement as they claim it is. It, it looks nothing alike. So, uh, he's asking for his money back on it. And uh, if you remember from the other video, as soon as he installed it, the clutch fork was uh, rubbing against the actual pressure plate couldn't even put the clutch in all the way. So this kit, I don't even know what the deal is with it, but it, it was not intended for this car. And so he ordered a spec clutch. We're gonna give that one a shot. Um, but uh, this is a lesson for people who might not be doing this project on their own, uh, because it, you can imagine if you paid a shop to do all this, now you'd have to be going back to the shop you'd probably be blaming the shop, and it's not the shop's fault. And now you're gonna be out of car until they can get to it, and probably some other expenses. They might say that they'll fix it, um, you know, they'll warranty the parts out, but they won't war warranty labor. You never know, it depends on what you're doing. So in our case, we're lucky because we've done this, you know, several times, so pulling a transmission isn't that uh, big of a deal for us. We had this done in in one evening easy but uh anyway just wanted to share you share that with you and just say if you're buying clutches off of ebay make sure it's through a reputable seller who will back you up maybe refund it and um maybe go with a, a good name brown clutch and make sure that that's what you're getting in this case stock car he just wanted a stock replacement so anyway that's what happened let me know in the comments what you think Thanks for watching.